as we look at our photograph, we see that there's this kind of grassy stuff and mossy stuff all kind of intermingled together. And we're going to try to take some, we're going to do an intentional, an intentional thing now with our paints and our colors and our brush strokes because the detail of the grass right in front here is the greatest detail in the whole painting. And for that reason, we're going to take some liberties uh, to tie the beach in with everything that's behind it here. First things first, I'm going to recommend that we clean off our mixing surface. Clean off your pool area so that we're not going to be contaminating. Now, I'm not saying that you've got to wash it with mineral spirits or anything, but just get, a, just get all that excess paint you can with your palette knife. Don't worry about doing a perfect job. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we're just eliminating some of what could contaminate some very clean colors that we're going to put in. I'm going to recommend that when we do the grass, we're going to go to back to our number eight. We're going to go back to a large Filbert's brush, and I'm going to show you the magic stroke that is your grassness stroke. <laughs> we're going to want to do grassness. And the magic stroke is a stroke that works for sky, it works for grass, uh, it works for modeling uh, contours in a portrait or a figure or a dog or a horse, uh, modeling edges and whatnot. The magic stroke has a lot of uses. Now, to demonstrate the magic stroke, I'm just going to take this panel and I'm going to share some things, some aspects or details or or some of the characteristics of the magic stroke. Number one, you cannot do the magic stroke holding your pen like, or holding your, your brush like you hold your pen or pencil when you're writing or, or drawing like this. You can only do the magic stroke when you hold your paintbrush the way an artist should hold their paintbrush most of the time. That's not like this, but like this. When you hold your brush like this, you're able to get a very deep, or very, very shallow angle with your handle. When you're holding the brush like this, you see the brush is perpendicular to the surface of the painting. You want to get down very, very low as far as a low degree angle from the surface. Another thing, kind of like what I was talking to you about before, we're not going to use the flat of the brush and we're not going to use the knife edge of the brush. We're going to use somewhat of a three quarter inch view three-quarter angle. And then we're going to use somewhat of an up and down motion. Now the magic stroke is a stroke that I stumbled on when I was doing a rather large painting that had really tall grass in it. <laughs> and I just, <laughs> and the light went on.